Good morning, everybody. Time for Sunday morning musings. You know, when you're in seminary, we have a couple little things that our professors throw out as, at us for uh, doing our sermons on Sunday morning. And one of them is the simple acronym KISS, keep it short, stupid. Well, a lot of us are guilty of not doing that. And another way to keep it short, one professor told us was if you're in the habit of drinking water during your time of giving a speech or a sermon, just get yourself a, a real small glass of water, fill it only halfway. And when you're done with that water, you're done with your sermon too. Oh, well, well the best bit of advice I got though was from a professor who said, look at all the scripture readings for that morning and try to tie them together. Instead of just having a bunch of hodgepodge that you throw at the congregation and say, hey, go home with it now, be blessed by it, figure it out. No, try to tie it all together. I'll tell you, this Sunday, the theme that we have that runs through all these lessons just jumps off the pages at scripture at us. All the way from Isaiah 56 where uh, the prophet is speaking to the people who have come back from exile now and things are just a mess in Jerusalem but he said you know what keep up the good work this this temple this temple that you're you're cleaning up and you're rebuilding this is going to be a place where foreigners who call on my name on Yahweh's name are going to come they're going to be blessed they're going to be allowed inside of the temple See, normally they just go into a little courtyard. Now they're going to go into the temple itself. Wow. The foreigners, they're going to be blessed in that way. Our psalm, Psalm 67, talks about God's blessings for us, especially those at harvest time, but also the way he rules the earth in, in righteousness and, and justice. But it also says something about outsiders as well, that... It's because of the way God has blessed us as his people that we turn around and be a blessing to others and they get to come join the party. That's awesome. The Apostle Paul, who once again is struggling with his own people, the insider people in this case, who are the Jews who aren't accepting Jesus as Messiah, Jesus' love, Jesus' grace toward them. But he, that struggle also moves on to those who are outside of the Jewish realm and how they have been called. They have been blessed. They are a part of this great thing called the kingdom of God. And we get all the way to our gospel lesson where Jesus is dealing with a Canaanite woman, pagan as pagan can be, outsider as outsider can be, you know, dregs of society as deep as the dregs of society can be if you considered uh, the social standings back in those days here this Canaanite woman exhibits what Jesus says great faith great faith in that she now receives the blessings of God she is one who's called to be a part of this kingdom love so Pay attention to those themes as you hear them in church or go, go on back and read them. It's uh, Isaiah 56, Psalm 67, uh, Romans chapter 11, Matthew chapter 15. It's all in there. Good stuff. Stuff that reminds us as God's people who tend to be, hmm, do we tend to be a little self-centered ourselves at times? Nah, not us, not us, right? No, we don't tend to be uh, egocentric. We don't tend to be the center of, of God's love and God's universe. No, no, not us. Yeah, sometimes even us. We need to open our eyes and our hearts to everyone. Because after all, that's what the scriptures do for us. Open our eyes and our hearts to see that everyone belongs to this kingdom. Blessings be with you on this day.